Good morning on Friday, Friday the 12th of February and welcome to our time together for reflection, whether it's right now or whether it's later on. I hope that your day uh, pans out well and of course can't talk about this week and what's been happening without mentioning the snow and for so many, so many families and so many youngsters that wonderful opportunity not to be schooling at all, whether at home or at school, but to be out in the fresh air and enjoying something different, something really very different, especially for Dalgetty Bay. We do get snow sometimes, but not as much as this very often. And to be able to get out as families and to be sledging, whether it's on these wonderful, wonderful design sledges or just a bit of plastic or a bin bag. And to hear the, the noise, the screams, sometimes screams of delight and sometimes screams of pain, let's face it, when things go a bit awry. But to be listening to that and to know that youngsters and some oldsters too will be going home and will be physically tired and a good tired. Just getting to the end of the day, feeling that you've done something. You've maybe a bit sore, like I say, but at least you've done something. And to know that our young folk have had that thrill, that excitement, that adrenaline rush, which does help us all to cope. It's been quite a week of snow. And oh, I know it's not been good for everyone. I understand that and realise that. But just thinking of the fun and enjoyment that so many folk have had. Of course, if you go out as a family to sledge, then there are decisions to be made, not just about who gets what turn when, but about where you go. It's not hard in Scotland to find a hill, certainly not hard in Dalgetty Bay to find a hill. Rannoch Muir, Muir might be a bit more of a problem, but around here. But it's the, the gradient, or how well it's covered, or it's safety, or how long it is, all those things that you have to think about. Um, the mix of your group and who's going to cope with what. Finding that right gradient for you. In the village of Moni Ive, there's a huge steep brae which runs into the village. And I heard so many stories um, about, well, people when they were younger. These are the, you know, the, the pillars of society. No butter wouldn't melt in their mouth now. They're, they're, they're very steep, very, very, very good, very nice people. <laughs> they're always nice people. But when they were young, they used to head to the very top of this brae. And it's huge. It's long and it's steep. And head down there. And the word is that if they got to the bottom of the brae with just the right veering to the right, they could get over the bridge and into the high street. A long walk back up again to do it again. But fun, great fun. There's also told of, of somebody who lived on that brae who would come out with the ashes from their fire and throw it onto the road, which simply meant that when the next sledge came down and hit the ash, it stopped, absolutely stopped in its tracks. And more often than not, the passenger or passengers would keep going. <laughs> they would just keep going on down the hill, body sledging. I'm not sure how far they would get doing that. But the memories that we also have of that enjoyment and that fun and playing together. And maybe that's what's been missing so much of this past year, the ability, the opportunity to play together, to be together and socialise without a need or without an uh, intention, without having to do something or be someone, just to get together and play and socialise. But of course, that sledging analogy does help us to also think about our lives. We don't always get to choose the road we're on or the slope, the gradient that we happen to be on at any time. You know, we don't hear of folk who go to their careers, people in school and say, what I'd really like when I'm older, my 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s more, is to be, you know, struggling on that slippery slope. To be worrying about how I'm going to pay the bills or 
worrying about how I'm going to put food on the table. Yeah, that's that's the life for me. It doesn't happen. We all want our lives to go well and um, to be quite smooth. We like the challenges and we like the adrenaline rushes, but generally we want life to be smooth and happy and fulfilled. And it doesn't always happen that way because sometimes we find ourselves on, on gradients that are just too much for us or they're too long and we wonder if we're ever going to get out. Maybe COVID's like that for you. You know, it's nearly a year now and we are getting weary and we are wondering how long is this going to go on? And we can't perhaps see the bottom of the slope yet. We don't know when it's going to level out and things are going to improve. But to be on that journey, on that slope, and in this life, means that, like a family, we have to be looking out for each other. To see when someone is getting into a bit of difficulty, when it's getting too fast for them, too steep for them, too long for them, too much for them. And ready at that point to see, can we help? Now, I think you know, throwing the ashes out onto a slope, an icy, snowy slope, was done with some intent to stop youngsters enjoying themselves, from what I hear. But maybe we can do other things, not really not quite so drastic and immediate, just to help slow people down a little bit, to help them to steer, to shout, perhaps to just put your feet down or, or just steer off that way. Not in real life, of course, but on the sledging. But maybe we can find ways of encouraging and supporting people that will help them in in life, in all of life. You know, not, not just snowy life and not just COVID life, but all of life. That's what Jesus calls us to do, to be watching out for other folk who are getting into difficulties. And to try and help them steer clear of that, if possible. But if they're in the midst of it, to try and help them to get out of it. It's for us to, to offer a hand up. A hand away from that problem, that challenge that they're not coping with. Time perhaps to take them off that route a little bit and just sit with them and listen to them. And, and help them so that when they have to get back into the world and go back in, They've got something deep within which helps them to realise they're not on their own or that something will perhaps help and someone is there for them. How can we help someone today? How can we actually help them if they're on a slippery slope to get back from that? If they're life is speeding around them too fast and they can't cope with the problems that are piling in. How can we help with that? And sometimes it is just to listen. To give up our time and say, it's okay, no rush. Let's just sit a while. Even if there's silences, even on silences on the phone, which are really hard when you can't see and wonder if you've been cut off. But just to stick with people, cheer them on, help them, and not be like the folk who are, well, just making things worse, folk who seem to relish that other folk are having a tough time. Let's not make things worse by griping and picking fault or finding fault. Nearly a year on, we all need to continue to work together, to hold it together and not narc and not snipe. So let's look today to today. For whom can we be that maybe small patch of blue sky which gives some hope? For whom today can be, we be the one who picks up the phone and gives them a ring? There's a group, well, all our groups haven't met for, for a year now, but the Sunshine Group, a great group, their kind of theme tune is, you know, give me sunshine, you're the sunshine of my life. Oh, no, these, just the sunshine songs that cheer people up. Get one of those songs, I'm not even going to try and put one into your head. Get one of those songs that just brighten you up and let it be your song for today. And let it be the song that, send you out to be that 
brightness, that sunshine, that blue sky for other people. Go for it. Be that today. Don't be the one who stops folk in their tracks and snipes and gripes and makes them feel worse. Be the one that puts a smile on someone's face and makes them think, yep, yeah, it's tough, but we'll get there. Working together, we will get there. We really will. Spring is on its way. Once that snow goes, there'll be so many bulbs coming up. That will put a smile on our face too. Sunshine. Be the sunshine. Let us pray. Lord, when and if we have the choice, lead us to choose to brighten this day for those around us. If we don't have that choice, help us and give us strength to cope. And if we know of someone else who doesn't have the choices that we have, give us grace and the desire to support them. Lord, we give thanks for the days of blue skies, weather, but also blue skies in our lives. The blue skies that are around us just now with the rollout of the vaccination, as we give thanks for so many who have and are working so hard to make this world better for us. Lord, give us patience. We pray for those today, for those this week who have lost loved ones, have said goodbye to a member of their family or a friend or a neighbour or a colleague. Help each one to know that you are there with them, that you will bring light into their darkness and into their grief and that you give each one Folk around who will bring sunshine and will bring hope. Lord, in each day, in each stage of our lives, we know that you hold us and remain with us. You've given us a gospel of love and of hope and of peace through Jesus, who came to talk about it, but also to show us how it can be preached in action. We pray that that gospel and that message will permeate us and through us, the world around us. That that gospel message of working together, of reconciliation, will pervade your world and help that world to evolve, to be caring and cared for treated with kindness and gentleness and true compassion. God, you never leave us. And you sent us your Holy Spirit to be the wisdom that we need, if we but listen, to be the strength that we lack, if we accept your help, the guide that will help us to live life well to live our own life well and to make this world better for everyone, for all creation. So Lord, we look to this day and all it holds and seek to face it with you by our side with us and that we will place ourselves beside you so that together, together, the challenges and the opportunities that come will be faced with grace and with hope, now and always. Amen. Friday, the end of another week, or perhaps just the beginning of another day. There's a quiz tonight in the church, if, in the church the church if you want to come and join us if you don't have the code already let me know and i'm sure we can get it to you enjoy the day it's a bit duller today but it's still the day that god has given us to enjoy and make the most of 
but not just for ourselves, for others around us too. God bless you, however you spend it.